Hello all dinosaurs and dancephorians. Today, let's take a look at 40 different prehistoric sea animals and of course, modern day sea animals. Okay, so let's go. The first one right here, it's actually a prehistoric marine reptile known as a Tylosaurus. It looks really beautiful. It has like, you know, tiger stripes across the body. So that's our first um, figure of the day. Next up, this is a new Mosasaurus figure that we have just purchased. And I have actually reviewed this on Dan Surprise, our main channel. This is basically a Mosasaurus, a really beautiful um, figure from Favorite Co. So basically, Mosasaurus is a prehistoric marine reptile. Okay, all the prehistoric creatures, let's place them on the right hand side, okay? Next up, this reef squid. It definitely reminds me of a um, prehistoric animal as well, but this is actually something that you can find um, in um, right now, I mean like the modern days. So reef squid, but I feel they definitely are like closely related to like prehistoric animals for sure. Next up, Mosasaurus again. Mosasaurus is actually my most favorite um, prehistoric marine reptile if I'm not wrong. I mean if, yeah, I mean if you guys do not know, so yep, a beautiful figure from PNSO, really really awesome figure. Let's place this over here. Next up, another prehistoric looking animal. It's actually this octopus. Alright. Um, this is a purple octopus. So basically it has like eight tentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next up, we have a plesiosaurus, which is another prehistoric marine reptile. And uh, take a look at this new figure right here. This is actually a pygmy sperm whale, which is actually a quite a small whale. It is like less than um, just slightly, I mean, around the size of a dolphin. So it's not exactly like a huge whale or something like that. All right, we have a um red crab which is known as a sal sally light food crab so basically crabs you know this crab right over here similarly to other crabs it has like teeth and a stomach instead of the mouth red ear slider which is a kind of um terrapine or a kind of turtle i have three of them they're getting really big if i'm not i mean if uh, i mean if you guys do not know Next up, we have a Mega Mouth Shark and this one, I think I'm placing it right in the middle because it is like half prehistoric and half modern day shark that you can find out there. But it's very very rare, it's like a super rare underwater, deep underwater shark. Next up, we have a prehistoric whale right over here. Yes, you're right. This is actually a whale, a prehistoric whale. This is right over here, known as a Basilosaurus. And um, this is definitely a modern day um, whale that you can find. Um, this is um, a right whale. That's right. Next up, this is a say whale. Okay, right. I think this can be found in like um, Japan, if I'm not wrong. Say whale consumes on average about a ton of food per day. And this is a pretty new figure that we have just purchased not too long ago. A blue shark. They are able to camouflage themselves really well. Okay, right over here, we have another prehistoric creature. Let's take a look at the name written right below. It is known as a Plesiosuchus. All right, let's place this right over here. Let's move on. Another prehistoric sea creature. This is known as Dolly Curring Cops. As you can see, it is like a prehistoric marine reptile with four huge flippers. Nice. Sperm whale, a blue sperm whale. And um, a shark ray right over here. So do you guys know that shark rays, they are actually... Um, they live in the Indo-Pacific Oceans and I'm not too sure whether they are like are they like sharks or are they like rays? Do you guys know? If you know, comment down below. Mosasaurus from Schleich. This is a beautiful, colorful figure. So Mosasaurus is actually known as the lizard of the Meuse River. 
and right here we have a Tylosaurus. Okay, let's move on. This is a hermit crab. Okay, two huge pencils, and it's like basically like coming out from the shell. It looks really interesting. This is a bow head whale, huge whale. Another prehistoric Mosasaurus. So we have plenty of a Mosasaurus figures to be um, honest with you. We have plenty of them because I definitely love Mosasaurus a lot. In fact, it is my most favorite prehistoric animal. Yeah. And another one. This is not a Mosasaurus. Let's take a look. This is actually a Chronosaurus. If I'm not wrong, I can't remember. Probably so. Great white shark needs no introduction. You guys love sharks. I mean, they look really, really awesome, I feel, but they are quite dangerous. Catfish, they use their whiskers to find their way in the murky waters. We have a cow nose rain right here. This is a new figure that we have just purchased. I have never seen a cow's cow nose rain before, and it really has an interesting name to it. Hammerhead shark, you can see this one right here has like, you know, different rows of teeth. Um, yeah. So basically the head looks like a hammer. Salmon, the anadromous um fish, an anadromous fish. Alright. Uh, I mean humans they use salmon a lot for food. And um frogfish right over here. Okay. Another prehistoric animal. This is, should be a plesiosaurus. So it has a bendable neck, so that's really cool. This one should be on the right hand side. Um, Thrasher shark. Is this a no? This is a short fin mako shark. That's right. Another shark. Great white. Harm back whale. This is a pilot whale. And um, killer whale, also known as the orcar. And um, this should be a grouper. Let's try a Goliath grouper. Huge fish. The mouth are really big. This is a prehistoric fish. This is actually known as a silo cant. Alright. Blue tank. I'm gonna open my shell and I'm gonna show you guys more prehistoric animals. So just give me one second. This is actually a very huge chronosaurus, gigantic chronosaurus. And then we have this really long neck prehistoric uh, marine reptile known as a um, Elasmosaurus. Okay, so it has a very long neck. I think this neck can be used to like, you know, catch its prey really easily. And this gigantic, this has got to be my biggest, um, non, uh, I mean, biggest prehistoric reptile figure. Yeah, so. I think right now, I think I've actually shown you like maybe maybe like 50, 50 different sea animals and 50 prehistoric animals. But yes, let me know down below which is the most favorite figure in this box and which is the most favorite sea animal and um prehistoric sea animal. For me, I am going with Mosasaurus as my most favorite prehistoric marine reptile and the great white shark as uh, my most favorite you know, sea animals that you can find today. And I, I love dolphins as well. Okay, thanks for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.